Well, lads, what's the crack? My name is RGL Runner, and welcome to Layers of Fear, a psychological indie horror game that came out way back in the year 2016, I think. I think, think it was 2016, or was it 2015? I don't know. I forget. All I know is it's been sitting in my Steam collection for yonks. I think I got it as part of an humble bundle deal going back years and years ago. I'm saying the word years a lot. I don't know why. But yeah, it is that old. I've heard a few things about it. Mostly about it existing. That's all, really. Don't know what the whole plot of the game is, but I'm assuming it's got something to do with us being an artist or something like that. I mean, the premise is kind of clear cut, if you ask me. But the background, the story. I don't know, we'll find out when we get into it. So let's go, a new game. Oh, so there's a DLC here. Not sure if I'll play that in my own time or if I will. Do another let's play on that depending how well this series does who knows so i'm playing this main because i totally missed out on my uploads for october i was going to play this for october but uh, my work schedule got kind of hectic and i didn't have time for it so this is going to be my horror game for this month i know how you must feel lost alone hopeless no, you don't. Deserve it. Hey, don't be judgy. But even for you, there is still a way. Oh, thank a you. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Really? Finish it. Is that a Mortal Kombat reference I heard? Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist. Not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. Dorian Gray, wasn't that a film from back a few years ago? And why is the camera wobbly? Did we get back from a drunken night on the town? I think we did. Okay, so far so good. It looks nice. I mean, I have this downscaled to 1080p because... Uh, I'm not sure if I can run it at 4K properly. I could try, but it doesn't matter because I record all my videos in 1080p and I upload them in 1080p. Don't think I'll be doing 4K for a while. If at any stage of my life. Oh, a dog muscle. Do we have a doggy? Or did we have a doggy? And yeez. Oh, poor little baby. Yeah, well. Uh, we have a piece of paper on the ground. Down into the basement on a dark, stormy day, or three little rascals chanced for to stray. Okay. I have no idea what that's about. And you know, given that we're in the month of winter, close the door, keep in the heat, whatnot, save those energy bills. Oh, cheap and unlocked. Inspired OCD. Is that because I closed the door behind me? It must be. Right, so. An artist's triumph, gallery opening, wows critics. Some call him the new Carvaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one Austro critic, who wished to remain anonymous, or unnamed, sorry, went as far to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Something's distinct art style or distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiance, or fiance, sorry, looking stunning in her black gown, revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting. I assume that means they're expecting their own child. Probably. Or maybe something else. They could be expecting their own money. He says, I just chunk of money, maybe, who knows? And let me guess, this is going to be all sort of pointless drawer opening, hoping to find key details of the game. So I'm guessing it's somewhat similar to Amnesia in that respect, whereby you sort of piece together the story by picking up notes and different fragments of God knows what. Definitely kind of feels like Amnesia a small bit. Right, we got another note here. Dear sir, 
We would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of rodent infestation of any kind, and as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactical or prophylactic spring. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you receive will be one from our lawyers. Lawyers, sorry, what is wrong with my pronunciation today? With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pests Pastications. Well, that's uh, some nice alliteration you got going there. Pesky, what was it? Pesky Pests Pastification. Yeah, it just rolls off the tongue. Tongue! What the hell is wrong with me today? Right, more parchment, more drawers. Oh, oh, wait, wait, what's this? I'm sorry for yesterday. You're right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth to strive for perfection. Uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. Promise we'll talk later. I love you. So is this a note for me to my wife? Or... Can we read over that again? No, it wouldn't be to my wife or my girlfriend or significant other, whatever you want to call her. Oh, I got war medals. So I must have been a soldier at one point. Okay, so that's something. Jeez, I, I don't really have a lot of space on my desk at the moment, and that last one is locked. Because where I have my webcam mounted, my mouse is kind of just sliding past it. I really need to get a wireless mouse at some stage. And I probably will. Hey, who's in my bathroom? Who's... Who's wasting my water? Oh. I have a reflection. That's cool. Because in some games, or in most games, you very rarely get to see your own reflection. Especially in such... I won't say it's in such great detail. It's kind of pixelated. But I do have the graphics turned down a small bit. So that could be it. Okay, turn that off. Okay. Got a lamp. Mm-hmm. Nada. Wait, 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 wait. One below the knees prosthesis. How the hell did they... I, I can't read that. How the hell did they fuck up the length? Oh! Is this why I have a bit of a hobble? Do I have a prosthesis or am I just drunk? I think I have a bit of a hobble. I think I'm the one with the prosthesis. Oh, right. Okay, no. Nothing here. I, I don't really like this. I mean, sure, it opens different avenues for exploration. But I think it's pointless addition of time onto the game or adding useless time onto the game because it's... There's, there's nothing there. There's nothing worth picking up. Nothing worth exploring. What's this? A, a, is this a dog collar? No, it's a belt. Whoopsies. Guess someone went out to town without their belt and left their pants down. That's bad. You shouldn't do that. Nobody wants to see that stuff. I mean, unless you're into that sort of thing. Okay, close that door behind me. Keep out the drift. And someone broke my expensive bottle of Chardonnay wine. How dare they? Uh, do, 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 do. Figured you'd be up all night. Do I made you a little treat? You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know. <gasps> In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. I love you. Uh, I love you too, anonymous person. Who I'll probably find out more about later on in the game. Ooh, gotta love that creaking sound effect. No dead bodies stored in here? No. Okay, I can read this without bringing up the text. Paint. Rosidore. Burnt umber. Or is that amber? Sienna. 
brushes, 25, air fresheners, 50 packs, apples, 10 kg, booze, 5, no scratch that, 10, no scratch that, 30, 30 is the perfect amount. Awesome. So I'm guessing we're a little fond or a little too fond of our drinky poos. I mean, way to set the er stereotype for us Irish folk. No, no, nada, 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 yada, yada, nada. And what's in our little pantry? Food, pots, and pans, and why is the frame rate dipping here? What is so special about these little things that's causing it to dip? That's weird, that's strange. Is that a bug? Could be a bug. Whoops, forgot to turn off the light. Gotta turn off that light, you know, save the planet. So I think we're about done here. I haven't made any progress as such. Right. I have no idea what's going on here. I'm guessing we are a painter of sorts. This must be our paint room, which is locked. You can tell it's a paint room because there's paint on the door. Paint splotches. And we have a note. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Oh, okay, so I must have uh, servants here or, or some sort of cleaners. Okay. That's another bit added to the background. And hell no, I ain't going down here. No, 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 no. Much too soon for that. And walk-in closet. What's in here? Useless junk. Oh. And uh, mouse traps or rat traps. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah. I attacked my microphone in the attempt to scrap my beard. Okay, so we must be dealing with a serious rat infestation if we have this, this many mouse traps or rat traps, whatever you want to call them. Anything that's clickable here? Oh. Little Vinny and Partners. Got a rap problem? Call us now on Faget about it? Oh, forget about it. 555-3825, fast, efficient, and discreet. Okay, so that's the company I must have went with after Pesky Pete's Pest Control, or whatever the hell it was called. Turn off the light. And again, what's with the lens flares? Don't get me wrong, it's kind of cool, but it's unnecessary and unneeded. I mean, my eyeballs are not lenses. Ooh, thunder and lightning. Definitely sets the atmosphere or the mood for this game. So I guess we're going upstairs, and ooh, we have a lot of paintings. Do we paint these? Jesus, pa, you've seen better days. What, did somebody take a freaking mallet to your face and mash your teeth out? No. Don't answer that. Uh, whoa. I have no words for that. I just don't even understand this picture. It's confusing. It's like... A picture... Of a man's body with a baby face and... Severe facial hair. Ugh. That's weird. Oh, 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 blood. Or wine. I've seen a lot of that. Did a murder happen here? Okay. Guess we'll find out some other time. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. All right, Billy Joel, I won't wake you up until September ends. Well, September has ended, but I guess you've gone back to sleep again. What the? You stepped right on her toes, or you stepped right on her hole? Okay. 
mightily disturbing. Not exactly scary though. The new face of music, a night at the opera becomes a night to remember. Uh, something might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi instrumentalist gave an outstanding performance last night, winning over even the most ardent naysayers. She was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy and skill in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise it seems, that even Anthony Giles, one of something's hardest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating that there's more to performing music than enthusiasm and a pretty face. When asked if after witnessing last night's performance he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. We caught up with the stars, yeah, 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 and the rest is ripped out, okay. So, was this our wife, the singer? Is she supposed to be our wife? Maybe? I uh, know, well, we've got another parchment or piece of paper here. Galactic's grand opening in flames. The long awaited opening of the Galactic Department Store turned into hell on earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach emergency exits in time, Several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it has been estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Again, what has any of that got to do with me? Am I the owner? Am I a shareholder or something? Do I have anything to do with that? Probably not. Ooh, a cane. Uh, imagine how fancy I would look with one of these. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The leg has been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. Is this how... Is this how they communicate with each other? Through notes? Not a healthy way of communication, in my honest opinion. Okay, that was just my phone and nonsense notification from YouTube. Okay, that was nothing worse than here. Oh! I'm beginning to think we have a drinking problem. I mean, I am seeing lots of bottles of wine scattered about. What the hell was that? Oh. Babyface Magoo again. Well, I'll talk to you later. I ain't going in there. That's way too creepy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess it's pick your poison. Go into the big office here where the scary noise came from. Or go into this unnamed room here where there's possibly even or where there's possibly death awaiting or some scary spirit who knows well I think I'd rather choose this one it looks nice and cute for now oh puppy dog hey buddy how you doing oh hi I feel like these dolls are judging me like I shouldn't be in here So, is this her daughter's room or something? I assume we had a child. Yeah, we did have a child. This is her room. Oh, that's her. That's me and mommy. Oh, that's cute. Oh, useless trap. Oh, and we have a little drummer man. Okay, that did nothing. And fancy ass rattle. I think that's all she. Oh, what was that? Okay, enough of that. That's crazy. 
creepy so anything else we can pick up here or interact with no that's locked Oh, yes, yes, quite so, quite so. I mean, you do look like a bit of a prude, and I assume that's how he would sound. Close that up behind me. Turn on the lights. Are you, can I, there we go. Okay. Lots of glasses and lots of books. Yes, yes, very intriguing. Oh, true story behind the picture of Dorian Gray. Was it true all along? I mean, it must be true. I mean, there's a book about it. I want more factual than books. Unless, of course, it's a work of fiction. And there might be some inconsistencies there. Okay, weird ass baby face Magoo again. Again, stop this. My eyes are not cameras or lenses. Okay, I'm sorry I'll make it up to you. Tonight is all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Okay. Oh, key. Uh, my dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I have agreed to let you do these illustrations in the first place for old times sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brixton. Whispered Tale Publishing House. So what? I drew Nightmare Fuel? Okay, Wolf and Little Red Riding Hood. I mean, so far, so tame. I mean, yeah, that's a little intimidating. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I must have been out of my goddamn gourd to draw this for a kid's novel or or a kid's book or bedtime story, whatever. Good lord. Anywho, I gotta find out where this key goes or where it leads. Two possible rooms or three. Three. There's one downstairs. Definitely not that one. Oh, I know where it goes. It's definitely the one downstairs, not that one. Because I read a note on the door that said something about returning the key to my office. And my office must have been upstairs. So therefore, it's only logical that it goes here. There we go. Aha. Perfect timing. Wait, what's this? Get it right this time. Did I put that there for inspiration? I don't know. So what's in here? Drugs? Oh no, paintbrushes. Okay. Thought it might have been drugs. So, any more No. Oh yeah, there is another note. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done before you go to sleep. Or before you go to sleep. Ah, okay, that was emphasized. Okay. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, can I look at any of these? No, no, I can't. And what do I have in here? Ah, okay. I say... Wait, what? Would you open that up there? You know, I said at the start we might have a drinking problem, but right now I think we definitely do have a drinking problem. Oh, that's just paintbrushes. Okay, nothing interesting there. 
So, what's behind this? Do you want to bet it's more nightmare fuel? I bet it's more nightmare fuel. Oh god, an unfinished painting. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. Alright, so I'm guessing this is what he means by finish it. Like this portrait is unfinished. Alright. So what about that? Oh. Oh, I see what's happening here. Yeah, I've seen this done in PT or PT-esque games. You ain't gonna scare me that easily. I mean, sure, it's weird, but not really scary. Oh, wow, that closed pretty abruptly. Can I open it up? And it changed. But I'm guessing there's something here I might need to pick up. Or read, or view, or see, or something. Just out of reach. Ready? Oh, fuck me. Okay, I reckon you used too much WD-40 on those there windows. They're a little bit too loose for my liking. I'd be surprised if I didn't find a note here. Or something that I can read. Oh. Reconnect with your partner. Rebuild your relationship. And rediscover the joy of marriage. Rekindle the flame. Don't worry. You're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen. But the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work, and we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it. At your own pace, whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. I'm guessing, seeing as I haven't seen my own wife or partner, it may as well be too late. She probably left me. I think. These are all just guesses. Is this a picture of my wife? Playing the piano? Hmm. Going in circles. I'm guessing there's some deeper meaning behind that. And why this is so blurred? The rest of the writing looks kind of fine, but this looks very, very blurred for some reason. And here we have the devil, and he is terrifying the bejesus out of these people here. Right, so nothing else of interest. Oh, hold on. Oh, note. Dear sir and madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. They are currently of no concern to us and especially our children. Please consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. Sincerely, your very tired neighbours. Okay, passive aggressive much? Jesus. You're worse than me with your notes. And apparently, my lack of communication with my own wifey poo. Oh. Save the date of... King request the pleasure of your company to celebrate your wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, so I'm assuming that might have been our wedding, or my wedding, I should say. 
Will you freaking open up? God, I'm getting so tired of the repetitive opening and closing things that have absolutely nothing in them. I mean, sure. I mean, they might be worth exploring. And it's no great cost to me, but I just find it kind of boring and repetitive. Wait, who's whispering? Is it you? Good Lord Almighty, what did you do to piss off these two women here? Never mind, I don't want to know. Okay, so what demon am I about to unleash here? So there's three digits, and... There's a date and time here. Saturday, the 9th of June, so 962... That'd be a weird combination to have. Nine, six, two. Oh wait, this might be set in America, so it might be six, nine, two. Or it might not be that at all. Wait, is there anything here that might give me a hint? Yeah, I'll just like these for no apparent reason. Whoa! Five, four, eight, or eight, four, five. I'm going to assume eight, four, five. Or oh, sorry, five, four, eight. Five, four, eight. Ah. That was it. The past holds back. Look closer. I read not. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? I'm guessing she said yes, but lived or didn't live to regret it who knows i mean games like these they normally have some sort of uh sinister, sinister plot twist oh and the door appeared never forget okay never forget what hey stop creaking you oh note You've been snooping around my workshop again. For the last time, you were not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. Okay. So that must be because I misplaced my key and my servant or butler or whoever must have returned it to me and left that note on my table. Stop. That's better. So where are we now? Oh. Is any of this real? Can't be real. No. I've got to be having some sort of alcohol-induced dream or co coma or something like that. Or it must be in a coma. None of this can be real. Can it? Good lord! I have a trap door in my own house? What kind of sick freak am I? Wait, what's this? Well, that's a lot. My love, even though you've not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now, I'm playing sold out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own, and yet, here you are, 
within me. I'm quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. Oh, that's adorable. And you, my dude, you look like, what's his name from Harry Potter? Professor Quirrell. What the? What is that? Bring him out of here. Let me turn this on. Whoa. All right, that was kind of spooky, I'll admit. What is this thing here? That's that's weird. That's oh, that's scary. It's not scary, but it's just weird. This place is a death trap. Can't believe it didn't fall halfway through or all the way through the floor. I mean, look. Okay, I have to use the lever here. There you go. Take your time. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, that's where you, where you went now. Okay, so this is where I fell through the floor, right? Is it? I think it is. Do we have any more notes here? Anything that will paint a bigger picture, as it were? No pun intended. Wait, wait. Okay, now that's just a book. That's part of the textures. Wait, who? Okay, I thought that was something scary for a second. Note? No? Alright then. Ah, this place has changed a small bit. Got a bit of weird two faced portraiture going around here or going on here. Whoa! Paint deep lies. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> Did I draw that? Is this one of the drawings of one of my little French girls? Or one of my French women? Sorry. Hmm. Must be. Okay, close that out. Oh, and here is Sir Brentford the Fifth. Brentford. No, that's not near posh enough. What's the poshest name I could think of? Sir Brendan. Yeah, that sounds posh. Wait, hold on. It says something here. Bart Murillo Sepsium Durpin. Okay, that must be Latin, I think. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. What the? Oh, wow. I mean, that got me a little, but not too much. I mean, I haven't shipped my pants yet, at least. I don't think I have. Screaming arsonists. Echoing screams. They stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. Oh. Okay. Clearly there's a lot going on in my mind. That he wants to see those rats burn. I mean, it was a picture of a rat, right? And, oh. That is not a happy painting at all. That is rather disturbing. Alright, I'm out of here. I've seen enough nightmare fuel for one day. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. 
Close this out. Okay, that locked. No. Really, there's no point in me opening these glass doors. I mean, if there's something inside, I could probably see it from outside. Oh. Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and the like. When we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch and she just burst into tears. Just be there for her and I'm sure it's going to be fine. Now, I know I promised not to rush you and by all means enjoy your well deserved time off. But just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up to Ying Yang, commissions left and right. You're a hot ticket my friend. Maybe we should strike the iron while it's hot. But of course, the family comes first. Your friend and agent, Thomas Cadwell. Yeah, I didn't think I'd have any need for an agent. I thought only singers and songwriters would have agents. Or just singers. Well, I could always be wrong. Hey! Shut up! Wait, is that where whispering is coming from? This brush? Hello. Hello? It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Okay, this thing is possessed. Okay, two pets. I'll go this way, because it's... Quicker and that's locked. Good Lord of Almighty, what happened here? Oh, I beat that woman. Oh, yes, I did. Look at me standing all proud of, or sorry, sitting all proud about it. He ain't standing. Look, and the little girl just looking shocked, like. <gasps> Oh my god, he did what to my mummy? Jeez. And of course the baby being dragged away. That's perfectly fine and dandy. Oh, and this place screams nightmare fuel. Well, good thing I'm not scared that easily. At least I'd like to think that. Ah, oh, I'm back out here again, so if I open up this door, everything will... Oh, no, nothing will have changed. So, is there going to be something in here? Hey, what was that? Get out of my pantry! That's my food, you can't have it! Okay, you can have all the food. Good Christ of Almighty, what's happening now? Oh. This first, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Oh, I see what's going on here. It's all clear as crystal now. Your man here, the guy I'm playing as, the protagonist, I see he had a bit of a meltdown, killed his wife and used his skin for his um, canvas. Or used her skin for his canvas. Yeah, that's right. Sheesh, just got pretty grim pretty fast. 
I mean, that's assuming what? Uh, that, that's I'm assuming that's what happened. That's the thing I, I hate about these type of games. I mean, they kind of spoil themselves. You can put two and two together pretty quickly. I mean, I could always be wrong, but that seems like what happened. I mean, going by his tone of voice and everything else, that does seem about right. So can I go out here now? Ah, I can indeed. Screeching, arsonists, echoing screams. They stop at nothing. I won't go down easy. Oh, so if I pick some of these up or pick up some of these key portraits here, they'll present themselves on this wall. Aha, uh -huh, right. The same with the photos. So there's going to be a lot of collecting going on. So any key notes, any key things I pick up, they'll all be presented here in this book and on the wall. I gotcha. That, that's cool. It almost makes up for the, the uh, predictability, the predictability of the story. Okay, hate even now, lost, you deserve it. Finish it. So, as I progress further through the game, I'm going to get back some of my memories, or all of this legible writing will become clear, and it's going to paint the whole story. Like, even though... The story is pretty much told already. Although, what happened to his daughter? That's the thing. So, or maybe. Oh, I don't even want to think about that. No, no, no. I'm not going to go there yet. Okie dokie. We got... Two nightmare fueled flamingos? That's what they look like, at least to me. Yeah, flamingos. Their beaks, their heads, their necks, their bodies, and long legs, yeah. Yeah, it does make a pretty nice thumbnail. Shapeless dreams. Righty, 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 hody, hody, ho. Ah. Okay, I see, I, I see, so we're going to be picking up a lot of key items here, and they're going to paint a story, more or less. That's what's, what's going to happen. And if I miss out on any of these key items, I might miss out on one or two key elements of the story. That's what I'm getting here. Whoa, there's a note, there's a note. Um... Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes. Then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Ah, okay. Right. Righty, righty, rightly diddlers. So far, I've mixed feelings about this game. I mean, you can definitely tell it's a psychological horror game because this there's no monsters, there's no immediate threat to me, not so far and anyway, unless the game is going to ease me into that. Maybe there will be monsters, who knows, but I, I doubt that there will be. It's it's a psychological horror game, it's supposed to mess with your mind. It's supposed to um, make you jump to all these random conclusions and you know, piece the story together for yourself. That's what I like about the game, I suppose. It doesn't do the whole hand-holding thing. It doesn't give you the premise at the start. I mean, it's kind of handy if it does, but when it doesn't, I mean that, that that's that's also okay. So, uh, yeah, pretty mixed about it so far, but so far I'm liking it. Like the story, even though there's not much of it yet because I'm just piecing it together. But uh, I like the aesthetic. That's the best way I can put it. I like the aesthetic of the game so far. Uh, would it be something that, I, that I'll come back to later on? Maybe play on the PS4? Somehow, I don't I don't think so. Not even for achievements, but... Uh, I don't know, I am, I am a, an achievement whore or a trophy whore, so I do love my trophies. So I might play it on the PS4 at some point. But, either way, enough rambling from me, guys. You know what to do. 
If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to do. Leave a nasty, dirty little comment in the comment section below. And of course, like always, I will see you guys in the next one. So, until next time. See ya.